And we welcome back to the studio Dick Belcher from First Federal Savings Bank. And by the way, Brent Evans singing Santa Claus is coming to town. That was Brent. Brent Evans, oh, that's right. Wonderful. Local, homegrown. That's right. Talent. That's wow. right. And Santa Claus is right here. Yes, yes. yes. and I yes. might add, we're even on a dumb phone. He's got a dumb phone. Right <laughs> <laughs> a smart phone, but a dumb one. We'll be on all of them. Do you have a dumb phone? Dumb phone, that's right. They make that's, those at the North Pole? Well, those were the rejects that they're left over, so that's what the olds all carry on. Oh. As you can see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Uh, one of the main men right here today. Try, try to con control yourself. Oh, well, we, well. Yes, well. One of those programs we may not get a lot done here. I don't know. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> no, no school delay? No, none. Ooh, none that pretty, we know of. Pretty foggy out there. None that we know of. Well, the school's letting out today. This is the That's last right. day before vacation. Got to hit it today. Got to get it in there. They're out two weeks now. Coming right. up. Oh, wow. I'm so excited. Got a little Are trivia you? this morning yes. from okay. Santa. Okay. According to the legend, what did Santa have arranged back in 12, 1901? 1901. Was it the Chimney Sweep Union? <laughs> <laughs> Commercially made wrapping paper. Commercial Christmas tree farming. The tradition of leaving him cookies and milk. Oh, okay. That's your choice. Yeah, sir. we'll we'll I know, meditate I know, on this. I know, I know. Well, I'm sure you do. Yeah. You should. Well, you're, you're looking over my shoulder. Yeah, you've been doing this for a while, so you should. What, looking over okay. little Richard's shoulder? All right. Now the big news in the sports scene is that uh, Notre Dame and Purdue are going to play their last game coming up in uh, next year. That's right. On September 13th at Lucas Oil. I say last game until 2020. Got a lot of basketball on the college weekend. By the way, you see IU is going to rename Assembly Hall? I did not see that. Yes, or the Simon Group. Uh, if you give $40 million, you can get your name is on it. Is that it? It's going to be Simon Kati, S-K-O-D-T. Okay. That, that's the daughter of uh, Mel Simon. Yeah. Wow. Pretty exciting. So they're they're going to raise 150 million dollars to redo the assembly hall. Okay. So the people in the top row can see the floor. <laughs> in Finally, that case, it's Finally. Simon says. Finally, yes. Simon says. Yes. Okay. Well, Simon says uh, I'll give right you there, 40, doc. I'll give you 40 million dollars. Yes. Okay. Right well, that's interesting. The IU this week and Friday they play Nichols State, and then Sunday they play. Uh, Kanaka State. Okay, sure. Two, two tough teams. Mm -hmm. Two cream Sure, teams. yeah. Kanaka State. Yeah, yeah. challenging games for IU. And uh, Purdue Sunday plays uh, at West Virginia. Well, that'd be a good game. Yeah, and then Purdue later on plays Ohio State. The and that'll be a good game, too, good if game. Purdue comes to play. That'll be a good game for Ohio State. Can't you hear that pet block? Kanaka them! Kanaka them! Kanaka them! I like that. Okay. The pet block will do that? Yeah. I it's called the Painter Group. The Painter Group. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Okay. Do you understand that, Don? Yes, sir. Do it well. Okay. 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 Duke and UCLA played last night. Duke won big. 80 to 63. Tied at the halftime. Okay. That's Steve Warm Alford. down. That's Steve Alford, you know. Yes. UCLA. Uh, I think. Uh, Last half, he was a little embarrassed with what was happening there. Uh, Coach K. Yeah. Uh, a few more years experience. Experience, that's right. <laughs> so, oh, anyway, there's lots and lots of sports going on. And uh, uh, Colts play Kansas City? In Kansas City this Sunday. How are you betting on that? Actually, I think the Colts have a good chance. Even though Kansas City needs to win, but I think the Colts... The Colts, if they're going to go anywhere in the playoffs, need to play well in the last couple of games. Well, they did last week, and they need to play well again this week. Okay. You heard it. That's first. the theory. Right here. Well, Santa, what do you think? Well, about? I think I think little Tom is just all <laughs> over it. He's the man of the hour. For, the poor, Don Imus of Rochester. Poor, poor, you bet. Poor Santa Claus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> take, take the Colts and the points. I would think so. Oh. Yeah, probably a good idea. Compassion Health Center offers free health care to uninsured Fulton County residents at or below 200% of the federal poverty. Which, are you qualified for that, Santa? Oh, any day now. Yeah, <laughs> any day now. Well, anyway, yes. they, yes. they uh, located out there by the airport, and uh, you might want to check in on that. 
Open house to celebrate the 100th birthday of Billy Walker is 2 to 4 Sunday at the Winfield Crossing. Congratulations yes. to her. Billy's late 100 years old, right? Yeah. That was, yes, yes. Billy's late husband, Kale, started air marking in 1946. Right, right. That's the same year that Purdue Notre Dame started playing. <laughs> right. each other. Santa has coffee with uh, little Johnny there, little little boy. Uh, yeah. Every day. Is that right? Yes, 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 yes. He comes by the North Pole. Larry Lujak passed away. He did this week, right? Is it, are we in mourning? An icon, an definitely icon. an icon okay. in the radio business. Okay, how about some flowers this morning to the employees of the Fulton County Public Library? They presented Fulton County United Way with uh, thirteen hundred dollars. Excellent. Collected. First Source Bank gave a thousand dollars to Fulton County Court appointed special advocates. Tis the season for giving. Very That's good. right. Yeah, we need to give some flowers. I got in here that uh, to the local school administrators and teachers. They've got a tough job and uh, do it very well. Yes, they do. Well, Target has, has uh, messed up some things for us uh, with uh, some... Uh, some uh, is that, I was looking November 27th to December 15th was that breach of security. That's quite a long time, isn't it? Yeah. Don, Don knows about these breaches of security. Yeah. He's tell us about that. Pretty sharp. Well, if you if you did a transaction with them and they send that to a database, of course, and that's stored out there, and their database was breached. So basically, somebody has your information if you were one of those customers of that store, and as you can imagine, that's thousands and thousands of people. Yeah. And now their cards have to be killed, and they have to get new cards. And Forty million transactions. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, that's a lot. Now, here's the official First Federal statement. Okay. First Federal will receive a list in seven to ten days of all customers' debit cards that were potentially involved in the Target Store data breach. Our policy is to reissue all cards that appear on this list. If you are at all concerned about the integrity of your card and wish to cancel your card now, Please visit your local branch, and a bank teller can assist you in filling out the forms to cancel your card. And you've got and more information. Okay. Very, very, very it's a, good. It's a, very it's good. A, and it's a costly thing sure. for everybody involved. It's inconvenience for the customer. Exactly. It's costly for the bank, the reissue, and... Uh, Don, we went through this uh, a couple years ago. <laughs> we with TJ Maxx and that group there. We had a huge data breach, over over 700 cards involved in that one. And it's uh, just very expensive. Just that little piece of plastic itself to be reissued is like about a buck 75 times, you know, several thousand in some cases. And the inconvenience is the big thing for our customers. They're not going to lose any money. They're covered. They're indemnified for that if somebody uses their card fraudulently. But it's just the terrible inconvenience. This is not a good time of the year to be without your debit card. That's exactly right. Excellent. Excellent. TJ Maxx. Uh, after that happened, I've been boycotting it ever since. <laughs> so have I, but I've had a difficult time with the women in my family. <laughs> and now, now i got to boycott Target, huh? <laughs> well, I, one, one person can make a difference, you know, I, especially with a lot of things that I normally buy at Target and TJ Maxx. I don't know how they kept on, go, kept on, kept on. on. Well, at First Federal, we're open today from 8.30 to 5, tomorrow 8.30. The noon ATMs always uh, open uh, at, on Christmas Eve. On the 24th, we close at noon. Okay. So get your uh, money in, uh, before then or make your transactions. So <clears throat> we're FDIC insured and equal housing lender. And since I didn't mention anything about mortgage loans, but you might want to look at mortgage loans and refinancing because interest rates are probably going up. I don't have to give all that other stuff. No, that's right. You don't. A disclaimer. Right. We don't have to do the right. number today. Only do that when you're selling mortgages. <laughs> right. But I you might it. want to look at uh, refinancing. Right. Three nine 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 two seven. By the way. Well. Uh, well, I want Santa, to have you refinanced? I have, and I certainly, but I want to compliment you on that on Target fiasco with the debit cards. You guys are just, First oh. Federal is always right, right on they're, Target. They're right, right there, aren't they, Santa? Right on. Very good, very good. Is this a, right on Target? Is that a, 
<laughs> that is a Christmas pun. Yes, no, I got yes, it. yes. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, now we we need to identify the uh, like a lamb <laughs> sitting next to me here. Yes, right next sitting next to you. Yes, uh, Santa, uh, as you know, travels around doing personal appearances. Uh, since I retired, I've taken on the persona and the job of uh, uh, of Lego Land, the slightly disgruntled elf. I uh, do security for Santa. I used to do it for some other big stars, Martha Stewart. That was a, that was a good. <laughs> did a good job that there. Was a, that was yes, a good yes, thing. Yes, yes. That was a good thing. I I take yes. care of the sleigh, the reindeer. They're up on the roof. They're idling right now. I gotta clean up after them. That gets a little old <laughs> after a while. Take Santa on his personal errands to the dentist. The doc took him to the doctor the other day. Yeah. And took happened? off his shirt. Took off his shirt. The doctor came in and he had a he had a, a two. Uh, green peppers under each armpit, and he had a carrot sticking out of his navel, and he had beans in his ears and string beans coming out of his nose, and the doctor took one look at him and said, first thing we got to do is teach you how to eat right. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. You hear those, that click in the air? That's yes, those I are heard There they go. I the radio is being <laughs> turned off. <laughs> We've lost them all. Yes. But I do the security, and uh, Vegetarians are forming to charge yes, the radio uh, station. I got yes. to pat down all these guys yes. here this morning. Yes. That was kind of fun, so. I have to say one thing about uh, Elf uh, Don here. He, uh, since we're on TV and everyone can see his, his costume, He's the first elf we've had whose ears actually match the size of the rest of him. So uh, I'm glad he's actually, got his hat on today. Actually, Santa, I'm not really really an elf. I'm more of a gnome. <laughs> oh, well, that's up. a misnomer, isn't it? I'm, well, I'm, Whoa! I'm from the, uh, Whoa. I'm from the, uh, the, the tribe they call the go-home gnomes. The go-home gnomes. <laughs> well, there's no place like gnome for the holidays. <laughs> Whenever, yes. we sh whenever we show up, they always say, go home, no? Yes, I know it. Whoa. <laughs> it's a tough gig. But I didn't realize I had any gnomes on the payroll. Working Whoa. for Santa is a pretty good gig. Totally lost control of the program. <laughs> now, now, Santa. Yes, I yes, have, little, Rich I, oh, little Richard's I, over here. I know. Hi. Hi, little Richard. I have a special gift for your... Oh, uh, look at that. For your... Oh my dear! I know oh, they like that. Bits of my navel. Just see that. <laughs> Look right. that. Yes. <laughs> I see. Yes. Wow. And a I, carrot. I, and I know your favorite is double stuffed Oreos by my great white beard. <laughs> a whole bag of them. That that should get you around the, the evening. That of, uh, that ought to get me going. Yes. Yes. But. Uh, that was disturbing news that you gave me about double stuffed Oreos. You what, and what news you and was little that? Tom over what here. What was news? What was that news? That uh, they really aren't double stuffed. No. Oh, you can't trust anyone, can no. you? No. Sorry, Santa. Oh my goodness. So, little kitties, it's not double stuffed. So you have to leave twice as many cookies <laughs> for Santa. Ho, 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 ho. All right. Twice I, as many double stuffed. Well, Thank no, that's, you. That's probably false advertising. That. And Target's probably involved. I'll bet in that. Target's behind that. <laughs> yes, I'll Target. bet. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna, As always, first federal. You're right on top of it, little Richard. I'm thinking I better go call my pastor because I want to see if a certain place is frozen over. Because little Richard is passing. You know, you he's giving to, away cookies. You go to church <laughs> that's, a cold, of the that's a cold day, and do you attend Church of the Gnomes? Do church you? of the Gnomes. Oh, yeah, okay. In the yes. wild wood, yeah. Yes. So, okay, well, you going to bring your pastor over to check out my cookies Well, I here? want to see if something's frozen over. Oh, dear, okay, okay. Well, you know how long that'll be. Okay. Right? Yes. Okay. Well, you know, speaking of First Federal, Santa is thinking about bringing everything from his bank of the snow up at the North Pole down to First oh, Federal. Oh, Because, yeah. well, look outside. Yeah. Days yeah. like today... There's a bunch of diminishing returns up there in that snowbank Santa's keeping his... Uh, Are those his, called unearning assets? It's called cold cash is what <laughs> it's called. <laughs> yes, cold cash. But it's, it's just going into nothing with the snow. I can't believe this weather. Can you, little Tom? No, wow. I can't. No. By my great white beard, how am I going to get the sleigh around? I will take care of it, Santa. We've got a good crew up there. Oh, I, I can count on my gnome. I've recruited some of the people. There's a lot of people that want to change their status on that naughty and nice list. Yeah. They're willing to do odd jobs. Oh, okay, so, we'll, okay. A lot of them over there at First Federal? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. well, that's good. Very, very good. Hey, yes. Santa, how, th how have things changed for you over the years in terms of 
when the, the kids come up and they say, hey, Santa, this is what I want for Christmas, you know, from the wagons and the bicycles to where we are today. See, he would be he would be what we call the straight guy. See, you got that? Yes, yes. Well, uh, they're asking for the high tech things. Okay, you know, and Santa. Oh my gosh, you're gonna change hats every. He does costume one changes. Minute. Wow! Whoa! Well, they, you you uh, Santa arranged to have these hats delivered over the years. So yeah, well, that's true. I'm that's trying true. to average the cost down by wearing them at least <laughs> once a year. Every year, little Richard has gotten a new hat, and well, I bet you've got about twenty hats, haven't you? Yeah. Right. But I, here's here's one I want to. But wanna somebody show. was telling me the other day you don't have to wear them in July on your bicycle. That's just uh, they, they're talking, little Richard. Yeah. They're talking. Yes. All right. Now you need to listen to this. Okay. Oh wow! Isn't that nice? Oh, that Santa is Claus nice. coming to town. Yes. Little Mike Denniston used to play saxophone, just he like did? that. He did, yes. Yes, what? with Tuxedo Junction way back in the day. Mm -hmm. Remember Tuxedo Junction? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I, I knew you were old. But oh, I didn't know old, you were old, that old. All right, now, I haven't seen you for a year. What's happened up north? And are, uh, Do you got most of the toys made and ready to oh, deliver? We're, we're all ready. We're all ready. It's, you want to address that little gnome? Hey, we've got a great elf union, and they work hard. Much to my chagrin, yes. And Santa's not a bad boss, but uh, we get the job done. He, he gets a lot of the, the glory and honor for it, delivering all the toys, but the group up there, the great crew, they, they, they make the stuff, and, and we're done. We're ready. We're ready. Yeah, um, we, we weren't unionized till a, a couple of years ago when a couple of Keebler's men infiltrated our group. Did. Yes. Yeah, with right. the cookies they brought. I yes, guess. yes, yes. That's how they got in, right? Yes, uh -huh. yes. Um, well, on our trivia this morning, one of the choices was the Chimneys Chimney Sweep Union. No, that's not it. Uh -uh. They didn't. No. It's more the Gnome Revenge Union. <laughs> but Santa's pretty glad the chimneys are clean, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yes. he, he doesn't yeah. fit as well as he used to in them. That's true, that's true. Now, you got to have a clean chimney. That's Santa's motto. Yep. Be well, sure you brush your teeth before you go to bed, children, and make sure Mom and Dad have cleaned that chimney. Make sure it's ready to go. Okay. All right. Now, uh, what are some of the things that the children are asking for this year? Well, back, back to little Tom's question there, yeah. All high-tech things, you know, their iPods and the... And the uh, Snow pods and uh, <laughs> pea pods and uh, yeah, any kind of pod you can think uh -huh. of, they're asking for, and all the high tech games. Dumb phones. Dumb phones, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just everything and anything in the high tech world. Very few Red Rider BB guns. Huh. Nobody Isn't wants that. Something. How about the how about the wagons? Uh, the little wagons. Yeah. Red oh, wagon. The little, little red, red wagon. wagon. I haven't had a request for Little Red Wagon since Ryder School was around. Wow. Yes, yes, what back about, in the what, day. What about Burton School? Burton I School. You used to get a lot of Red Wagon requests then, too. Yeah, yes. And Woodrow. Woodrow, same thing. Red Wagon, Red Wagon. That makes it awfully hard for you to stay on the wagon, though, doesn't it? It does, it does. Santa's had to get, get off the wagon a time or two here, yep. How, do, how does the gnome know about things like that? Well, he's Santa's personal bodyguard, you know. He's also Santa's double, those of you who are looking in on TV. It was that yes. one year I had to do the, yes, do the, rounds do the double for you. thing. Yes, but yes. It, the real Santa get sick or something? No, no, there were threats. <laughs> Big <laughs> threats. Yes. That's yes. part of being the security head here. You gotta take the take the bullet for Santa occasionally. If there's some people out there that like I say, that naughty list, some of those people are well, hard to deal with. Uh, Actually, I can talk about it now. That threat came as a result of this radio program. It's when Santa announced to the little children out there that he couldn't bring his sleigh and reindeer into town because uh, Judge Lee had edict. He couldn't do that until <laughs> Christmas Eve since he ran over Grandma that one night. Oh, my God. Judge Lee got a million telephone calls. Uh, Santa got a threat or two. Yes. 
Grandma was a whiner. Oh, yes, and, and, and a groupie, too, you know? That's how she got run over. I tried, I tried. Oh, I yes. Control you remember her? Side. You kept saying, Santa has left the building, but she just wouldn't take that. Oh, no, well. She was on you like cheap perfume. Absolutely, absolutely. But uh, things happen, you know. Rudolph didn't cut her any slack at all, ran whoop, right over her. Uh, a lot of memories, you know. Yeah, a lot of memories. Lot of memories. Yes, yes, yes. Well, tell us about Rudolph. Uh, how's, how's his health? Is well, he's... he's still got his red nose? He does. He does, except for the parts that are getting gray. Yeah. Oh, he's been around a little while, too. Yeah, but... Uh, but he's hanging in. Yeah. Is, is the red nose come from the fact that he eats carrots or drinks whiskey or? Uh, <laughs> well, no, he he was a special breed of red nosed reindeer, and to be honest with you, Santa hasn't been able to find any other red nosed reindeer. <laughs> that was so. probably developed by the crack, I say crack. Yeah. Professors at Purdue University, when you think. The red-nosed reindeer? Well, uh, Special do you breed. think? We could, I've never thought about that. I could check with the professors at Purdue. Yes, or maybe Simon could help me with that, huh? That's right. Yeah. Simon. I bet Simon could get me another red-nosed reindeer if I needed it. Forty million ought to be able to do something. Sure. Yes, yes. Check with those, those uh, some of the countries, the former communist bloc, there's a lot of reds there. Yes, that's true. That's true. Santa, that, you know, you talk about high-tech devices. I wonder if you have any concern about the fact that NORAD now is able to trace you and track you as you go throughout the world uh, delivering all the toys and goodies for uh, good little boys and girls. Is that an issue for you? How did he know what Grandma's name was? <laughs> Grandma Norad. Yeah. Norad, yeah. Yes. She tracked the heck out of me. Yeah. yeah. Between yeah. Norad and the National Security Administration, we're, uh, <laughs> we're on a lot more radar right. than we used oh, to be. Oh, 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 wow. Yes. Yes. But uh, oh, we, we get our special pass. So. Okay. Yeah. As long as we don't tarry too long. Of course, we're moving right along. Just. Right? Well, we do, but getting through security, again, <laughs> at, at certain landing fields is, is a tough job. It is. Very tough. And that's one of the reasons i got to go in front of Santa and take care of that kind of stuff. So. <laughs> oh, wow. Little Dick uh, is on, everyone. i got to put them all on to get the average your cost down. <laughs> watch out. Have you got any ideas for next year? For Just cat? watch that one hat that bursts into flames. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's for the ending. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> yeah, we'll, we'll Any ahead. ideas for next year? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Uh, should we do a, How about a remote next year from First Federal? That. How about from. See, we're, oh, boy, that got him, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yes. Right. There you go. Well, our new building will be done by the yes. And we're going to have a penthouse. Ooh, ooh, wow. There you go. We can have it up there because it Great. might be inclement weather to have it on the road. Great. Wow, that sounds like a winner. What do you think, little Mom? Uh, I'm all for that. Yes, sir. Go yes, to the sir. By the yeah. way, uh, they're pouring the second floor today at the bank. Uh, uh, they could use some help down there on finishing that concrete, and I'm sure you've had some experience. Well, I'll tell you, Santa could come and block the street off. Could. What would that be? Could. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll bet everybody would stop and talk to Santa, and he could go like this. For the yeah. weight of the drive up, you know, I got carrots, you, everything. You would draw a crowd. Yeah, that's Maybe true. The crowd we don't want. Well, but, uh, could be. We've got some personal appearances this afternoon, Santa. So your, oh, you your, do. Your time, is, your time is pretty valuable. Oh. Santa, this is, now, this is the newest hat. <laughs> oh, you are right with it. Where'd you find it? North Pole? They make oh, it up we there? make those! Yeah. Yeah, don't get insulting the gnome here. Some of these are his designs. <laughs> Remember that song? I, I do. Yes. Round and yes. round. But, yeah. There you go. Uh, Santa, yeah. my question is, you've got double stuffed Oreos. You know you like the kids, and the parents will leave those for you. Right. And then, right. I suppose, milk to go along with that? Oh, absolutely. Okay. And any uh, particular, I mean, you want skim, you want uh, 2%, you want whole milk? Any milk. Any, any except, milk? Okay. Except for that uh, doggone uh, almond stuff. Santa is not lactose intolerant, kids. <laughs> Do not put that false stuff out there for Santa to drink. That's what he tells everybody, but... Us who travel with them aren't so sure. <laughs> well, I can handle it. I can handle it. I know I can handle it. I can handle it. I keep telling him that. I don't say anything nasty about 
milk because Dean Foods. Oh, right. Right. They're good. Love Dean's milk. Yeah, love Dean's it's, milk. It's wonderful. I love Dean's milk. Eggnog, is that something we can uh, expect? Eggnog's good. Eggnog's also good. Plain. I like that. Pardon? Plain. Plain eggnog. That's fine. That'd be great. Yes, we don't want it doctored up because we've got lots of work to do, don't we? Big night. It's a big, big night. night. Big night. It's the big night. Coming up. And that's, of course, that's the 24th, little kitties. That's our big trip. <laughs> the 24th of December. You should all get to bed early. Leave uh, the double stuffed Oreos and milk and a little carrot out for Rudolph. And we'll be there. Now, so, sometimes grandmas make cookies. That, and yes. They, would that be all right though, if they don't have any double stuff? I suppose as long as they aren't mince meat. <laughs> Some <laughs> things should not be made into a cookie. And mince meat is definitely one of them. So what's your favorite homemade cookie? What did, what did your mom and grandma make for you? Snickerdoodles. There you go. Okay. Yes. And, and to our elf, what's your favorite? Anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, if you're, you know, if, if you're, but if you're, you know, peanut butter, if you're making some. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, thank you, uh, gentlemen, uh, for coming up here, Santa. I know it's a long trip. Oh, it is, it is, but it's always, here. it's always and, a pleasure. And I apologize that the snow's going away oh, here, but got us concerned. But you'll be okay on, on. Uh, Christmas Eve. We'll just have to use more magic, yeah, right? A couple more reindeer wouldn't hurt either. Well, yeah, that's right. That's why well, they call them reindeer. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Some of those guys are yeah. getting, getting up see. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Reindeer. Reindeer, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. That'll be yes. That'll be good. Yes, yes. Well, it's always a pleasure being with you, uh, you two, before how, Christmas. How good of a pleasure is it? Well, it's so good. We're going to go and eat this whole bag of cookies. That's how good it is. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen, for coming, and uh, let's not forget the true meaning of Christmas that we celebrate the birth of our Christ child, Jesus Christ. Absolutely. True. And let's close with this statement Oops. today. Oh, the uh, yeah, trivia. Back to the trivia. For trivia. Sure. Oh, yeah. I, yes. got, I got so excited being I next to Santa. Well, the trivia. Fire. What yeah, happened back in uh, that Santa arranged for in 1901? Well, we know it's not the chimney sweep. No. Commercial made wrapping paper. Wrapping paper. Commercial Christmas tree farming. Wrapping paper. No, Santa's you're wrong. Cookies. Really? Cookies. It's, cookies. No, no. No. Christmas tree farming. Really? Ah, First Christmas tree wrong. farm was yeah. there. There you go. Okay, now wow. Victor Borg. You know who he was? Victor Santa Borg. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. said this and. Santa Claus has the right idea. Visit people only once a year. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Yes. Dick yes. Belcher, Santa, Santa's helper, thanks very much for being here today. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, everyone. Christmas. Oh, oh.